Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast about learning local businesses and local residents on what they love about being a part of Flagler County. So today, I'm super excited to have my guest, Ms. Kathy Hyder, with us today. Kathy, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. Hi, Macy, and thank you so much for inviting me. Of course. Well, Kathy, Kathy has become a really close friend um, of our family here. And so it's just it's such an honor to have her on and sharing about the plethora of hats she's worn um, over the years. She's just done everything. So I, I'm super excited for this. So why don't you kick <laughs> us off and tell me a little bit about your journey coming here to Flagler, coming here to Palm Coast? Okay, I moved here to Flagler County in 2005. Um I actually moved here because my mom had moved here in May of 2005. And uh, she kind of really wanted me to cl be close to her. My plan was to go to California. However, that changed. I had recently lost my youngest son in Iraq mm -hmm. in 2003. So it was a bit of a change and a tough decision for me to make as to where I was going to go. But my mother did convince me finally to come to Palm Coast after I came to visit in September of 05. And I just fell in love. I fell in love with the city of Palm Coast. It was a lot smaller then, a lot quieter then. But the beauty of it was just magnificent. And, and I fell in love and there was no question. I went back home packed up my stuff, and I was back in Palm Coast by November of um, 2005. Mm -hmm. And here I am. So it's been a long journey since yeah, 2005. It so has. Much of my life has changed. Yeah. Do you want to share a little bit about some of the things you do here in Palm Coast? Okay. So it, it was a great decision for me to move here because I actually ended up pretty much starting my whole entire life over once I moved here to Palm Coast. Um, in New York, I owned several businesses. I was in the salon business. I owned a construction company in New York. I also owned a gift shop and art gallery business in New York and several other things that I had done, a lot of volunteerism as I continue to do here in Palm Coast. But when I first got here, my thought was, okay, what am I gonna do now? So immediately, um, because of my involvement with the veteran community, I reached out to the VF, local VFW here in Palm Coast. I got very involved with the VFW, um, being a gold star mother. And um, I it kind of just evolved into me being involved with the veterans and all the veterans organizations in the community. And by 2015, I started my nonprofit um, remembering vets. However, we are now remembering heroes. But prior to that, I had gotten my license as a real estate broker in 2010. And I worked as a real estate broker from 2010 up until now. I'm still currently a realtor with Approved Patriot Realty here in Palm Coast. And Approved Patriot Realty is a huge supporter of our veteran community. Absolutely love our veterans, love our heroes, and we support our veterans, first responders, Gold Star military families, and also local community heroes from the community. So like I said, Macy, my life has been a complete new journey since I moved here to Palm Coast, and I'm loving every moment of it. I, I never would have thought at this point um, after being here almost, well, since 2005, going on 20 years, in um, November of 2022, I ran for city council and I won. So I am now also a city council member for yeah. the city of Palm Coast, District 4. That too, I am also enjoying and loving the experience and I believe that the only way that it's possible for me to love this experience is because I love serving my community. Mm. That's what I believe in. That's who I am. And as I continue, that's my plan from here on in. I will be serving the community on many different levels and whatever level is necessary for me. 
Yeah, and I can say as someone who's known you for, I want to say just only over a month by now, which is insane to think about. It feels like I've known you for so long, um, I know. <laughs> but it's only been a little bit over a month. I can definitely see that's where your heart is. You, you're you someone who always puts the community Absolutely. first, everyone else first. Um, And so it, it's been really a pleasure to get to know you. You've come over to our house so many times and it's it's been so amazing yes. um, and, to and just I, learn from I, you. I love your family. Thank I immediately, you. after I went to your father's first lunch and learn, it kind of just, I knew automatically, this is where I need to be. I, th I think that Manish and just the whole family, really, your mom who does the credit repair and the other things that she do, your brother, I've had a session with him working on AI. <laughs> I, now here I am doing a podcast with you. I mean, it's just been an amazing amazing um journey for me just meeting your family and yeah. like you said it's just been a little bit over a month yeah and I have gained so much in that short period of time that's great to and hear. really to be honest with you it has totally changed my entire mindset wow and and I know that at this point I am at a point where again here we go again. I'm reinventing myself <laughs> and I, I'm starting a new chapter in my life. And I want to thank Manish. I want to thank the whole family for helping me move forward with the next plans and uh, next journey that I will be on. That's amazing to hear. Well, we're super happy to be a part of it. We're super honored to Thank be a you. part of it. Um, and I know we're all really excited to see you continue to grow. Um, because you have all the you have all you have everything in place of everything. You know, you're well known in your the community. You're a city council member. Um, and a lot yes. of people love and respect you. And so now we're just going to that Thank next you. step. So you you did all the hard work already. So now we're just going to continue to push that through. Um, yes. but do you want to share a little bit about you know? of some, maybe some things coming up for Remembering Heroes, if people are interested in maybe okay, well, getting more involved. Um, with For Remembering Heroes, um, our next event is going to be at the Bowling Alley here in Palm Coast, and it's going to be a fundraiser for Remembering Heroes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have my event planner here with me, but her name is Ashley Scayatilli from Charming Sisters. If she were here, she could explain that event a lot better. But after that, we have our fall festival coming up on October 19th, which will be held at Town Center, um, City Hall, Palm Coast. And that is one of our biggest events of the year. And this year we will be honoring women who serve, which would include women veterans, women first responders, and also local community heroes, such as healthcare workers, school, school teachers, um, clergy, and we will actually be sending out nominee forms um, in the very near future within the next week or so. And we're looking forward to just really having a wonderful time there, an amazing event because uh, we just love sharing with our community and honoring everyone that has served this community on so many different levels. I mean, we're just a community of people that love the, love the city of Palm Coast and love to be a part of everything that the city has to offer. Definitely. So I'll make sure I have some information on those events coming Thank you up very much. in the I description people it. and the descriptions of people can click on it. I don't remember what I said, um, but yeah. yeah, those are some great events. And Ashley is a great uh, lady to know. She's been on the podcast as well. Um, we've been connected with her for some time now in Palm Coast. She's always doing something really great for the community and pushing a lot of great things uh, Wonderful. For, the, for Flagler. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, do you want to share a little bit on running for council, uh, being a city council member? Because that's an amazing story. I'm sorry, could you just repeat that? Sure. Do you want to share a little bit about your journey on getting elected oh, as a city council, city council member? Council. Yeah. Wow. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> um, actually, I, I, my first plan was to run for city council in 2020. But of course, what happened in 2020? We were hit with COVID. So we came to a halt. So I decided, no, I'm not going to run. So I said, maybe in 22, I would run. So now I know I made the right decision um, because I decided to run in 22. And I felt at that point that my relationship 
with the community was solid. I was well known in the community for all the things that I, I had done, all the volunteerism that I had done in the community. Um, the fact that we placed the Invisible Wounds Memorial at the Heroes Memorial Park here in Palm Coast. And we had started with our fall festivals. So I felt like I had created a sense of loyalty with the community of Palm Coast. And once the, many people found out that I was running, I think that's what got me into City Hall mm -hmm. because people knew that I had a heart for this city. And I had proved that by doing all the things that I had done within the city of Palm Coast and within the community and reaching out to help as many people as I possibly could, which I still continue to do. I'm involved in a lot of the organizations here, the veterans organizations, many of the network groups that are here in Palm Coast, which really seems to be the lifeline of our city, all the different networking groups, because that's how we get to know each other and find out who each other is by doing our one-to-one -one, um, meetups with each other. So I think that's really amazing. And I think that's just what has bought and made the city of Palm Coast what it is, all the wonderful people that are here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's amazing to hear. I mean, I already just, we already touched on it, but I know there are so many people who echo my sentiments of you put so much of, of the course. community first, and that's why something as uh, as city council city council member came to you now. And I think also the timing is one of those things as well. We think, oh, this makes sense to do it now, but sometimes you know God tells us, hey, it's not the time. Yes, let me let me show you when is a better time, and then it happens, and you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, of course yeah. that's my bad for thinking otherwise <laughs> it, it, it's funny when I was running um people would ask me well how do you feel about running and I said honestly I'm gonna tell you my thought about running was if I win I win right if I lose I still win right because I had the courage to run Right. And that's what it takes. It takes courage. It takes courage in anything that we do. Often it takes us being willing to step outside of our comfort zone right. to move forward and move to a different level in our lives. And that's very important. And so many people um, need to understand that, hey, sometimes it might seem scary, but we've got to be willing to step outside of the of our comfort zone to move forward and move our lives on to a different level. Yeah, that's a great, great sentiment to kind of end on. But yeah. Kathy, thank you so much for coming on the podcast, sharing thank a few you minutes. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, this has been so much fun. And I know, I feel like a podcast episode between the two of us could be like nine hours because you, like, we didn't even touch on anything you did pre-Palm Coast, which is an entirely different life um, with their, their its own sets of accomplishments. So thank you so much for coming on, sharing a thank few you. minutes. I really, well, really appreciate it. This was so much fun. I would love to come on again and maybe discuss some of the other things that... Sure. Um, have been accomplished prior to me moving here in Palm Coast, just so that um, you and the community that watches um, I Love Flagler County can learn a little bit more about my life before I even moved here. Yeah. And again, like I said, it's been an amazing, beautiful journey. Well, and I'm looking yeah. forward to the next chapter. Kathy, you, you've lived so many lives already. I think it's so easy for people to be like, oh, if I had even like a quarter of what she's done, I'd be happy. So um, I'm excited for your next chapter as well. Well, thank you again for coming on. Spending thank a few you. Minutes. Thank you very much. Of course, to okay. everyone watching, I really appreciate you as well. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.